All right, this is Dreadmaster YGO coming at you with a three-way deck profile. What's your names and what'd you do? My name's Danny and I play Kashtira and I got 12th place at the Columbus Regional. My name's Clay Grider, I got 22nd place at the Columbus Regional playing Kashtira. My name's Brad Krebs, I went 43rd playing Kashtira. All right, so we'll start with you. Go ahead and show right. us what so you do. Basically, we all play the same deck as our friend Matt uh, as well who also talked, he got 17th place, and he'll see his profile uploaded as well. So we all just play differences in the main and the side was a big difference. Uh, so I'll start off with mine. Uh, these are standard ratios, three rise, uh, one catch tier, scare claw, one ogre, three Fenrir, three unicorn. That's pretty standard. Uh, you shouldn't play any more, any less. Um, and then we go for the hand traps. Uh, the best hand trap, call it FTK. D shifter, um, best card in the game. Uh, two bell, um, three drill, and three ash. Um, so I play more of a heavier hand trap uh, version. Some of these guys didn't play drill, I decided to. And then trap cards, uh, the one prep, uh, mandatory, it's really good. Uh, three imperm. And that's it for the trap cards. Imperm being one of the best traps you can play right now. And then for the spells, one terraforming, your fourth field spell. Two talents, card insane. Helps against the mirrors as well, um, and just breaking boards. And then we play prosperity. Uh, three planet. Uh, three uh, Theosis and three Burst. Um, no, nothing to explain there. Everybody should know what the cards do by now. Uh, then for spells, and we'll go off to the side, then we'll go extra uh, too evenly. Um, going forward, I'm probably going to cut this for a different tech card that I want to play. Try it out. Um, three Judgment. Um, I'll personally keep this in. Card was like clutch all day at the regional. Um, Saved me a lot of matches. I got evenly a few times, but thank God I had this. Uh, double summon limit, uh, double anti spell, and then we played one lightning storm, double cosmic, one feather duster, and double rigeki. Uh, so just a lot of uh, like a mixture, good combination of breakboard cards and like control cards. Obviously, the summon limits, anti spell, and then rigekis and lightning storm, um, and evenly. But this was just subpar. I'm gonna, this is coming out. Uh, so that's it for the side. And then for the extra, Flare, Gradle, Big Eye, um, Crisis, Annihilation, Zeus, uh, Phantom, and then the one uh, Shang Era. You really don't go into this card a lot unless you're like playing like some weird rogue deck or uh, of, of sorts. Like you really don't go into this because typically it can be your fourth summon or your fifth summon, and we're not playing into Nib in this deck. Um, and then we play the one uh, Baron. And then the package I played was the Link Spider package or Heat Soul, Golem, Access Code, Heat Soul thing. Some people don't play this, they play the SP uh, or the IP, sorry. Um, but yeah, going forward, I'll probably cut this, just play more technical cards. Um, this just, it comes up maybe once or twice, but it doesn't really um, come up that much. Um, so that's it for my profile. All right, well, you're up. And then for my profile, same deck. Um, we'll keep it real simple. Three Unicorn, three Fenrir, three Riseheart, one Ogre, and one Scareclaw Cash. I don't think these ratios should change at all. Um, you could maybe argue cutting the Ogre and the Riseheart if you're going second. Uh, Ogre with its trap to cut, but other than that, I don't think you would do that. Uh, like Danny said, best hand trap in the game, wins games on its own, shifter. Uh, three Ash, three Imperm, two Droll, and two Bell. Uh, Bell mainly in there for Fire King when they go Flamberge or also against Labyrinth because Labyrinth's kind of a tough matchup for this deck. Uh, didn't have room to find the third Droll. Um, maybe could have bumped the deck toe up to 41 if I really wanted to, but I found keeping it flat 40 with just two of these, I didn't see it conflict too much with like opening shifter and droll. Um, so I, th I thought those ratios were great all day. And then onto spells, we're on terraforming plus three field spell, just three fourth, uh, three birth, three theosis. You could also maybe argue to cut theosis if you're going second, don't need it. Uh, three prosperity, and then 
kind of a tech card, double cyclone to hit potential other births as well as Fire King, Field Spell, um, or any, you know, pesky back row that you just kind of fear, like maybe a Rogue Imperm or something like that. Uh, and then last card in the main, uh, just prep, uh, going first. If you can find a way to Ogre, search this card, it's pretty good. Uh, prevents you from getting Impermed because they usually are too scared to do it. Extra deck, uh, I played the Kiesel package as well with two Link Spider, Crystal Heart, and then I did play an IP with an SP, um, and then Heat Soul, and Access Code. But I'm gonna be honest, I went to this line once all day, and I got in a beard. Seems so, like that's the package that everyone's gonna cut. Yeah, I personally would just rather have more rank seven utility, but I think I would keep at least one Link Spider, the IP, and the SP. That way, if you make the Draco Sack tokens, you can at least set up a Link Spider with IP, and then you can make the SP on your opponent's turn to banish a card. So I would maybe consider keeping that. Uh, and then for the XEs, the Draco Sack make tokens. One Shangri Era. Sometimes I wish there was two, but one will do if you're playing the Heat Soul build. Dark Armed, uh, if I do cut the Heat Soul build, I'm definitely playing two of this. I'm also playing two Big Eye, but in this deck I only had room for one. Uh, the one Flare Metal, Zeus, Typhon, and then Baron made this all day, especially seeing Ash and Bell just go Unicorn, Normal Summon, and then Birth back, and then hopefully you have Theosis as well, and you can go full combo while protecting yourself from Nibiru. Sideboard, we got the third Droll, the third Bell, just matchup dependent if those went in or not. Uh, Harpist Fighter Duster, Lightning Storm, didn't want to run two just because once per turn. Uh, the third Cosmic, uh, mainly against Fire King, just to get rid of Island. Uh, double Pankratops, this card, I love this card, it went crazy all day. But the best card in the sideboard, easily, Lava Golem, going second, destroyed so many boards, won me so many games. This card, never used it. Played two only to fear Rescue Ace, and it's also kind of a time card, but it never came up, and I, I think I only sighted it in once all day. Uh, probably would cut it for something like Summon Limit going forward. Uh, Dimensional Fissure, that's just more copies of, uh, of Shifter. It going first, I pretty much sighted in every single time. And then same with the two Solemn Judgment. Uh, didn't really find a room for the third one, but I saw it enough at two that I think I'm comfortable keeping it at two. And then that's it for me. All right, uh, what'd you do? Uh, play the same deck. I mean, pretty standard. Uh, three Unicorn, uh, three Fender, three Rise, uh, the one Scareclaw, one Ogre and the one prep uh showing off engine first uh the three birth three theosis four planet nothing i wouldn't change anything it just runs pretty good i mean i do side out the uh, terraforming sometimes but uh hand traps got the three shifter uh mvp of the day really i've seen this so much and just people just pass it, it just helps the three ash two bell baron baron is great for that uh i mean the to, to flame burge the the i mean to bell the flame burge is nice uh hand traps as well the three imperm uh going on to non-engine uh, i got three prosp uh did play the three cosmic uh figured i was gonna run into a lot of fire king and to get rid of that 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 field spell is pretty nice and same thing with the births uh if we did run into the mirrors uh and then have the one talent uh i i don't know i hate breaking on this card this card i see too much of and that's why i was just playing it one and then just uh for the voiceless matchup i was really uh, that's the only reason i made this uh just to really see i thought i was gonna see a lot more of them and didn't so this is immediately cut uh going on to uh extra playing the one shang the one flare metal, the one Jacob Sack, one Gradle. Uh, I play the two Annihilation, 
two big eye, the one Typhon, one Zeus, one IP, one SP. I didn't make this card at all, so most likely it's going to get cut. Uh, and then the two Baron. It's just a uh, spots fillers because I did not play the the Link Spider package at all. And then side deck got the two Droll and two Pink. Uh, really good to see the Droll uh, and Pinks were really nice. A couple of matchups uh, I uh, got to use it. Uh, and then two Lava Golem. That was probably the MVP of the day. MVP of the day. I've seen this so much going second. Uh, really helps out to just break boards and not expecting it at all. Uh, the one Feather Duster, I did play the two Storms. I mean, I want to see it more than I don't want to see it, so having consistency at two would be decent. Uh, two of those, Shifter's great. Uh, two Summon Limits, going first, flipping this on their turn, they normally just pass. And then two Judgment, I mean, stopping things is pretty nice. All right. Well, it's good that four of our boys from Kokomo got in. Hopefully, we'll be seeing more of you at Nats. But we'll go from left to right. Any shout-outs or any thoughts about the deck? Um, thoughts about the deck? As long as they don't hit my boy Shifter, we still play in this deck. <laughs> <laughs> like, as long as they don't touch my boy Shifter or my boy Fenrir, we play in this deck. And even then, if they put one Fenrir, I'm probably still playing this deck. Um, so, good. yeah, just quick shout-outs to the Kokomo boys here at A Card Collectibles. Um, we're about to have a case tournament here March 3rd, right? So if you want to check that out, check it out. It's great. Have, have a good time. Um, so, yeah, shout-out to everybody that I play test with. Um, you know, without testing partners and without playing here, um, I wouldn't do as good as I do. You know, it's a test of play testing. So shout-out to everybody that I play test and all the guys that, you know, I go on the trips with. And a uh, big shout-out to Brad. Um, I've been taking us to these regionals and stuff like that, allowing us to do a little grind. So uh, big shout-out to him. Shout-out to Kokomo area. We've put a lot of time into theory crafting this deck and putting it together for this format. I'm so happy that four of us – we're able to get our invites to Nats. Soon to be six. Soon to be. See. We'll see. All right, Brad, you got any shout outs? Yeah, just shout out to all the boys, honestly. I mean, we got Garrett, Clay, uh, Danny, and Sean, and Matt's not here. Uh, I mean, they, they really just kind of put me on their back. I, I've been out for a while and come back in. They really teach me a lot of things, keeping me on their second regional and get a top. I mean, you can't do much better than that. Uh, I mean, you guys are great. Love hanging out with you. Love playing. Love traveling. And we'll see you again. All right. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you in Texas. Yee!